Hello everybody and welcome to Waggers' Wings episode 4. In this episode I'm going to show you how to implement a lot of the things we covered in the first three videos in a real live multiplayer server. So here I am on a server, a combat server. Uh, first thing to do of course if you read my little instruction there for Mick Manor is to climb, climb, climb. So the first example I'm going to show you is against the dreaded D7F. Now the D7F, as long as you are above it, you can turn with it and ambush it pretty well. So here I am, I do the rollover, I dive onto the bandit, and I can turn with him. He's entered a quite, quite a tight turn there, but you can turn with him at speed, as I said in the previous video in the spad. So again, I've equipped the balloon guns, which if you hit successfully, a couple of hits will rip off a chunk of a wing. So there we go, I high yo-yo back up dive back in again, um, put in a few more shots and blew off his wing. So that is how to take out a D7F. If I'd missed on the first shot, um, I might have considered retreating and pulling back the D7F, as I said previously, with that BMW engine, it's very, very deadly to the SPAD because it can climb so well, almost as well as the SPAD, and it's more manoeuvrable, particularly at high altitude. So here you go again in the external view. You can see me flying over the top of the Fokker D7F. I spot him, I roll over, and I pull into him. Now he has entered a very tight turn, which is probably one of the best things you can do when someone is trying to boom and zoom you. And there we go, I take the shot, and the first salvo, I hit his engine, I blow off a chunk of his wing, and I blow off a chunk of his elevator. So I pull up into the high yo-yo, and then pull back round again, turn with him, and then finish him off with a few more rounds to rip off what's left of his wing. And down he goes. As I said, uh, if I hadn't had done enough damage in the first dive, or I'd missed, um, I may have considered uh, pulling up, keeping my altitude and not engaging, perhaps even withdrawing. So let's show you another example. This is me taking on uh, a Fouts D3A. Uh, I've just been chased by the Fouts uh, for about 2-3 minutes because he had uh, an altitude advantage, he was above me. So um, I, uh, I extended, which was I turned away from the bandit, used my superior of the speed of the spad to uh, create a distance, then climbed to climb above him. So now I'm above him. So he's turned into me, which is the correct thing to do. Now rather than diving into him and chancing some very, very unlikely to hit uh, deflection shots, I climb above him and let him spin underneath me. And now I, I wait for that opening, which is usually when he stalls. So he brings his nose up to take shots at me, and he stalls. And there we go. So he has low energy, which means he's, he's not going to have to turn very well, and he's going to be going slow. So there we go. I pull in, dive, take the shots, and I cripple his wings. I, I blow off some large chunks of uh, his wings. Again, I pull up again into the high yo-yo, and then pull back around, turn into him. As I said again, if you are at speed in the spad, you can outturn your enemy. So they go whoosh, right underneath. That was quite a close shave there. Um, you may find when you're learning how to boom and zoom that you may accidentally be caught by chunks of flying debris, bits of your victims, as you will, uh, which is always a danger. Now, I've been quite lucky there with that dive underneath that no parts of his aircraft have come and hit me or that I have collided, so I was quick to nip under there. The good thing about the SPAD is that it has a very, very good dive and very strong wings uh, that can cope with quite high G-forces. You may have noticed uh, or might have heard the kind of gasping noise from the pilot when I was pulling up, um, coming out of my dive. The uh, SE5 um, is quite notorious for ripping off its wings if you try and put too many Gs on those wings. So that's one of the reasons I prefer the SPAD. So here we go, you see um, the Fouts trying to nose up to shoot at me, he stalls, um, and so there we go, I pounce on him. Matt, he's made that fatal mistake. If he just kept circling, there wasn't that much I could do. So there we go, I dive in, I blow off a chunk of his wing, um, I pull in and up to regain some altitude, and I high yo-yo onto him, um, and I finish him off with a few more bursts. So I get some bursts into the cockpit, I rip off his, uh, his elevator, and I rip off another chunk of his wing. Now he's crippled now, so he, although he is still airborne, uh, he has, hasn't, hasn't crashed yet. I could have dived on him again and finished him off, but he wants to go in and land, and I'm not that kind of pilot. I'm not that bloodthirsty. I always get very frustrated in multiplayer when um, my uh, opponents decide to shoot me as I'm coming to land. But anyway, so he crashes and I get the kill. So I celebrate with a little victory roll there. So there's some examples of me using uh, the tactics we've discussed in previous videos in live combat servers. And now to finish off, I promised my boss at work I would succeed in a three-point landing. And I'm coming in to land here with the spad, and I just about pull it off. It's not the, the most perfect three-point landing, but it's still a three-point landing nonetheless. 
If there's anything else you would like me to cover, if anyone has any comments or questions, please leave them on my wall. I hope you found that useful, and thank you so much for watching. Salute, and see you in the skies.